Watson is the ultimate computer built by IBM. It's basically a super nerd in tech form. I don't think I've been so excited about meeting a bank of service. <laughs> Last year, Watson took part in a special episode of the top US quiz show, Jeopardy. Make your first choice. Let's take alternate meanings for 200, Alex. Watson, what is it? You are right. It took on two of the most successful contestants ever. Brad Rutter, who was the biggest money-winning contestant in the whole of the history of Jeopardy, and also Ken Jennings, who's had the longest-running winning streak on the show, and beat them both. <laughs> <laughs> now, though, Watson faced a much bigger challenge. <laughs> wow, there he is, look. IBM had arranged a special game of Jeopardy, Watson versus us. So whenever you're ready, Jason, go ahead and select your first clue. Fads for $200, please. Fads for $200. It calls itself the blanket with sleeves. Jeopardy is a very cryptic quiz. Put simply, you are provided with the answer and have to come up with the question. Watson. What is Snuggie? Yes. What is the Snuggie? Oh! <laughs> Watson is one seriously powerful computer. 90 servers. Each server has 32 cores. So we're used to saying dual core or quad core for our home gaming computers. <laughs> 32 cores for each of the 90 servers. A computer with a single core would take about two hours to process a Jeopardy question. Watson does that in three seconds. Watson. What is frostbite? Yes, frostbite. Oh. And we were no match for that kind of processing power. All right, Watson won the buzz. Go ahead, Watson. There will be blood orange. Yes, the there will be blood here. oranges. You got that. All right. What Watson does when he gets asked a question is he breaks it down into each individual word. And from that, he deciphers what the question is asking for and what type of question it is. He then uses lots and lots of algorithms to decide what the answer is going to be. Watson. No, I got there, man. What is the hard day's night of the living dead? Oh, yes. No, I knew, I knew that, living. man. Tim Gunn. Yes, that is correct, Tim Gunn. We were getting absolutely annihilated. This is why I don't play Trivial Pursuit at Christmas. Yeah, it, it was not looking good. I always wondered what it would feel like when I realised that machines were finally going to take over the world. And I never knew it would be like this. Yeah. I thought it would be like a battlefield, and I'd be like with the resistance in the trench, you know? But actually, this is far more humiliating. Yeah. Should we go for fashion, Polly? Yeah, let's Should we go try for fashion? It. And then, suddenly, our luck started to change. It's the last name of the designer whose Got website it. is usa.tommy.com. What is Hill Figure? Back of the net. Jason. What is Rolls Royce? Yes, well done. <laughs> Rolls Royce. What is Tamagotchi? Yeah, baby! We were on a roll. You got it, Pollyanna. Jeans. That is correct. What are jeans? Yeah, no! Pollyanna. Brats. That's right. <laughs> Damn! <Hey>! Awesome! <laughs> Gee, Gee, you got two answers on Watson. This is incredible stuff. Who is this guy? What we didn't realize was that because we'd been so rubbish in our first round of questioning, some guy in the back had actually dialed Watson down to like stupid settings so that we could get in and answer some questions. <laughs> but then when we managed to get a few questions right, they cranked him back, him back up. up to genius. <laughs> then we didn't stand a chance. What is arm and hammer? That is correct. <laughs> Who is Giorgio Armani? That is correct. What is Hershey's? That is correct. Who is Emma Lazarus? That is correct. It was all over. Watson was victorious. The humans had lost again. We have glimpsed the future. Playing Jeopardy against that entity is very significant on a species level. It, it, it raises all kinds of very exciting and also quite scary questions. And that concludes the game. Watson wins with 13,400. Jason with a pretty impressive 4,400, at least for a human. And Pollyanna with $800. Well done, well done. I was just quite glad that I got one or two questions right, even though they were quite easy ones. <laughs>